Chapter 8 Sources of Short Term Financing. Chapter 8 Outline Cost of Financing Alternatives, Sources of Short Term Financing, Hedging to Reduce Borrowing Risk, Summary and Conclusions. Learning Objectives Characterize Characterize trade credit as an important form of short term financing and calculate its cost to the firm if a discount is foregone. Describe. Describe bank loans as self-liquidating, as short-term, and as having their interest costs tied to the prime rate. Also, calculate interest rates under differing conditions. Describe. Describe commercial paper as a short-term, unsecured promissory note of the firm. Review. Review borrowing in foreign markets as cost-effective alternative for the firm. Explain. Explain that offering accounts receivable and inventory as collateral may lower the interest costs on a loan. Demonstrate. Demonstrate the hedging of interest rates to reduce borrowing risk. Sources of short-term financing. Trade credit from suppliers, bank loans, commercial paper promissory notes, banker's acceptances, foreign borrowings, loans against receivables, and inventory. Figure 8-1, Structure of Corporate Debt 2019. Short term, accounts payable, loans, paper, long term, bonds, mortgages. Cost of financing alternatives. When a financial manager needs to choose from several financing alternatives, the cost, the interest rate, often is the deciding factor. The interest rate is calculated on an annual basis. Monies paid divided by net capital borrowed times time period in years. Trade credit, largest source of short-term financing for a firm. Trade payables are a spontaneous source of funds. Trade credit usually extended for 30 to 60 days. Accounts payable period equals average accounts pay or accounts payable divided by average daily purchases or cost of goods sold. Cash discount policy. Cash discount allows for a reduction in price if payment is made within a specified time. For example, 2% if paid in 10 days or the full amount in 30 days. The cost of foregoing the discount is K dis equals D percentage divided by 100 percentage minus D percentage times 365 divided by F date minus D date. On a $100 billing, we could pay 98 up to the 10th day or wait 20 more days and pay $100. K dis equals 2% divided by 100 minus 2% times 365 days divided by 30 days minus 10 days equals 37.24%. Net credit position. Net credit position equals AR minus AP. If accounts receivable are greater than accounts payable, the firm is a net provider of trade credit, positive number. If accounts payable are greater than accounts receivable, it is a net user of trade credit, negative number. Larger firms tend to be net providers of trade credit, while smaller firms are net users. Bank credit, self-liquidating loan, generates cash flows that form a built-in or automatic repayment scheme. Short-term loan, take on the nature of longer-term financing through renewing arrangements. Demand loans and the prime rate. Demand loans payable or can be advanced as desired and the interest rate fluctuates with prime. Prime rate, the interest rate charged to a bank's best customers, acts as a benchmark for calculating other interest rates. Figure 8-2, prime interest rate movements. From 1971 to 2021, comparing the Canadian prime and the US prime. Fees and compensating balances. In addition to interest, banks often charge setup fees and administration of review fees. Often banks require that business customers maintain a minimum average account balance in checking accounts, 
a compensating balance expressed as a decimal. The compensating balance increases the amount to be borrowed, which in turn increases the interest cost. With compensating balances, where amount to be borrowed equals amount needed, minus or divided by 1 minus C. Compensating balance example. Assume you borrow 100,000, paying 8% interest with a 20% compensating balance requirement. Amount to be borrowed equals amount needed divided by 1 minus C. Amount to be borrowed equals 100,000 divided by 1 minus 0.2 equals 125,000. Types of bank loans. Discounted loan. When a bank deducts the interest on the loan in advance and lends the balance. Installment loan. Calls for a series of equal payments over the life of the loan. For example, most car loans and home mortgages. Compensating balance loan. When a compensating balance is required as part of the loan. Cost of bank financing. Annual interest rate on a bank loan equals I divided by P times 365 divided by D. Annual interest rate on discounted loan. I divided by P minus I times 365 divided by D. Interest costs with fees or compensating balances. I divided by P minus B times 365 divided by D. Rate on installments loans. 2 times annual number of payments times I, divided by total number of payments plus 1, times P. Financing through commercial paper. Commercial paper, a short-term unsecured promissory note usually in denominations of 100000 sold at a discount by finance companies, other large corporations. Total amount of commercial paper outstanding had increased greatly until 2007 and 2008. Financing through commercial paper, part two. Commercial paper classifications. Finance or direct paper issued by finance companies. Dealer paper sold by industrial or utilities firms. Asset backed has the security of short-term assets such as car loans, mortgages, and credit card receipts. Advantages. Generally cheaper, compensating balances are not required, asset-backed paper can free up the balance sheet. Figure 8-3, corporate short-term paper outstanding comparing bankers' acceptances, commercial paper, and securitizations portion of paper from 1965 to 2020. Figure 8-4, Comparison of commercial paper rate to bank prime rate, 90-day commercial paper and prime, from 1968 to 2019. Bankers' acceptances. Main use is to finance inventory of finished goods and transit to the buyers. Companies involved in foreign trade find this form of financing helpful. For example, Canadian company importing machinery from German manufacturer would arrange a letter of credit for payment to the German company. Under this letter of credit, the bank will agree to accept a draft drawn by the German company on the Canadian importer, hence the term banker's acceptance. Foreign borrowing. An increasing source of funds for Canadian firms is the large euro currency market. Loans from foreign banks denominated in U.S. dollars are called Eurodollar loans. Foreign interest rates may be more favorable. The company then converts the borrowed foreign currency to Canadian dollars. There is a foreign exchange exposure risk associated with these loans. Accounts Receivable Financing Accounts Receivable Financing includes three choices. One, pledging accounts receivable as collateral for a loan 2. An outright sale factoring of receivables to a factoring company. 3. Asset-backed securities, sale of receivables by large corporations and public offerings, tends to be a relatively expensive source of financing. Inventory financing. 
Inventory may be assigned as collateral security against an operating loan. Types of inventory financing. Blanket inventory liens. Trust receipts. Warehousing. Inventory financing part two. Trust receipt or floor planning. Loan is based upon serial numbers on product. When goods are sold, loan is repaid. Used by auto dealers, industrial equipment dealers, television and home appliance dealers. Warehousing. Goods are identified, segregated, and stored in an independent warehouse company and the firm issues a warehouse receipt to the lender. Hedging to reduce borrowing risk. As interest rates are volatile, those firms that need to borrow funds for the continuing operations are exposed to interest rate risk. Interest rate hedging means to engage in an interest rate related transaction to partially or fully reduce a prior risk exposure. Firms may use the financial futures market to hedge against interest rate risk. Summary and conclusions. The easiest access to short-term financing is through trade credit provided by suppliers. But cr trade credit is not free. Firms should compare the cost of foregoing cash discount with the cost of borrowing funds elsewhere and make a decision. Bank financing is usually in the form of short-term self-liquidating loans. In addition to interest, banks may also charge fees and or require a compensating balance. Summary and Conclusions Part 2 An alternative to bank credit for the large, prestigious firm is the use of commercial paper. Firms are also turning to foreign sources of funds, as they are seeking low cost of financing. By using collateral financing, firms ties their borrowing requirements directly to their accounts receivable and inventory buildup. The financial manager may consider hedging interest rate risk through the futures market.